a new day, a new experiment. You know, I'm still working this uh, TDA7293 bridge amplifier. So the original circuits here, they've been uh, 7294. So I'm trying to see if the bridge mode, like in the schematic here, it's the same or it's available for, uh, for 7293. <laughs> So far, we have the loudspeaker plugged in. I just planted two small uh, cooling sinks. They are not touching together because there is no isolation yet. And uh, all the connections are okay. We have the plus and the minus. If you remember, we had this differential plus minus 19 volts um, power supply. Now I'm trying to have a test of it. So let's plug in the power. We got power, look over here the led it's on that means everything should be fine let me check for voltages we should have plus and minus 19 volts or something so that's the ground minus 19.6 plus 19.6 no i'm sorry plus 19 minus 19. a schematic here and to the loudspeaker is okay. We should have a we have, but nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Okay, we have uh, we have to. Uh, this one it's from the producer itself. The piece of fire and, uh, and my uh, TS100. We have to power. check some things. So things. Number one for soldering wire, flux of course, and for two and a piece of fire. Okay, there we go. And so uh, the standby connection. And the number three, the it's going just like here. We have perfect. Okay, ready to go. Power on. I can't hear anything. No kind of noise. Nothing, 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 nothing. So I'm trying to believe that uh, having. 7293 on the same bridged mode like uh, 7294 it's working uh it's impossible so that's why i'm gonna uh, try to modify this board for a parallel connection that should be much more uh, interesting and uh, i think 7293 it's working better in parallel mode than uh, bridged but let me see some voltages do we got something here on the loudspeaker nothing let me see this is the ground the ground so we should have plus on number seven and number 13 so this is number seven here yeah that's okay here too yeah this is fine this is fine too what else i don't know out on 14 and we got minus a what got minus here and we got a uh, there okay let me start with checking the loudspeaker maybe it's something wrong here oh, i need the, to power off yeah it's powering off now how can we check the loudspeaker very simple let's have a battery doesn't really matter 1.5 volts that's absolutely okay and we should hear a beep Oh yes, and we can even find out which is plus and which is minus. If it's plus, then the membrane should go, the cone should go up. And it's going up. So the loudspeaker is working good, no doubt of that. Okay, this is clear. So the power supply is good, the loudspeaker is good. Okay, so far with the standby connection here, connected to the ground the amplifier it's not starting so i'll try another approach you know i will connect this to plus i tried to find out some info about that but i couldn't so instead of connecting directly the standby to plus i'll use a 10 kilo ohms resistor I don't know, but I'm feeling much secure like that. Uh, by the schematic, the circuit should start 
if the voltage on standby leg or pin is going higher than 3.5 volts I think uh, 10 kilo ohms will be just enough okay so let's plug back the loudspeaker uh, the circuit that have the input it should be the plus the other one it's going minus okay the loudspeaker it's on so we got everything plugged there all we need is the all we need now it's the power supply there and here we go here we have the power supply turn it on and nothing happens I heard something on the loudspeaker but nothing but this, this is not I got the ground 19 and here okay so the voltages are okay and we got 12 volts on this pin we should have a kind of same story I can't believe that but it's looking like the 7293 it's not compatible with bridge mode I can hear a slight sound difference on this power supplies so something happens there okay maybe 10 kilo ohm is not enough hmm? wow you know what's nice about having these power supplies that have a perfect protection to short circuit and I think one of the IC it's gone that's for sure listen and you can even hear that that shows a perfect short to one of the supplies let's see which of them okay this one is good the minus one it's bad so the experiment went bad let me check about the short and it's looking like let me see we have a very clear short minus to plus ground and here is okay but minus to plus it's a very very clear short and uh, it can't be any capacitor no way so the single uh, the single problem is probably one of the ICs went bad but you know what's the story I used these two and they're supposed to deliver two times 19 volts so I'm way under the maximum voltage and uh, no results sorry for that I try my chances with some new ICs but I'm still I'm still hanging with the idea that most of these ICs are fakes it happened to me before and I think it, it's a very clear situation again and this IC here is pretty hot so I think my experiment is dead for today it doesn't look like uh, 7293 is compatible with 7294 and also and that's the the worst question or the worst, worst scenario is that um, I'm afraid they are fakes 
like so many times before. <laughs> Strange sounds. Oh yes, this is a very clear situation of one of the ICs get or got uh, broke and that's it for now. Sorry, but my experiment doesn't have any good results. I don't know, maybe fakes, maybe bad schematic, maybe 72, 93, it's not running in bridge mode. I really don't know. Anyway, it was a fun evening and I hope it's useful for you too. Bye bye, see you soon.